Happy birthday, everyone saying. Happy birthday, Vinny. Thanks, sir. Where's Craig? Are you there, Craig? God damn it, I had him muted the entire time. No wonder he was so <laughs> quiet. Oh, God. You know, they've got this this uh, graphic that they had for the CM Punk versus Daniel Garcia match. And it is it is somewhat uncanny how similar their physiques are. Although Daniel Garcia does not have the random 80s uh, stars on them. Well, uh, but uh, a random, Brian. So we got a grappling match. We got a pure wrestling match. Straight out of Ring of Honor here on uh, Rampage. There's even a rope break for those of you who are into that kind of thing. Call your friends if you want. There was a rope break on TV. You don't want to miss this action. It's about rope breaks. And who can force their opponent to use rope breaks? You get a certain number of rope breaks in this pure wrestling match. <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm, I'm not much into garbage wrestling. Unless I'm watching John Moxley absolutely mutilate himself, but that's a different story. <laughs> but this was the first Rampage where, you know, Friday night, do I need to watch it tonight? Can I watch it tomorrow? When am I doing the Dave show? I, I don't, it, this did not feel like I've got to get home and watch this show. We have a producer named Jared who was in charge of, of doing all of these camera cuts. Jared, do some cuts right here. Show me Vinny. Huh? There you go. Show me Craig. See that? That's the Wizard of Oz. That's the man behind the curtain. My first match with Richie Magnet, I won't say that's when I learned it was a work, but in okay. all sincerity, in all sincerity, that was the first time I learned it didn't have to hurt. <laughs> sure. <laughs> because Richie pulled back his arm and made a fist, and he swung it in my head, and here's the key, right before it got there, it stopped. What? No one else ever did that before. So one thing I learned in wrestling is I can, in fact, take a punch. Wow. What's going on, Granny? Same as ever. What does that mean? You went and got the mail? I did that yesterday. Yeah. See? I was right. Craig ridiculed me, but that was, in fact, what she did yesterday. How did I ridicule you? You snorted. Glad you can read my mind. I can. What am I thinking now? That You're thinking I'm an asshole. Looking right in that big head. Where's the show? Are we recording? I think we are. Are, hmm. we, reco are we going, Jared? It says recording. How come I'm looking at the uh, the YouTube here and like nothing's happening? Maybe uh -oh. people smartened up and stopped listening. What are your go-to rituals for watching wrestling? I begrudgingly go downstairs and I lay on the couch and turn the television on. And then about 15 minutes later, I wake up from a small nap and rewind <laughs> and start over. Mysterio versus Sammy. Backdrops. What's his name? Sammy. Sammy backdrops. Uh, Ray Mysterio. <laughs> you want Vinny to finish this one? <laughs> <laughs> Undertaker gives him a tombstone pill driver for the win. A pill driver. How has no wrestler ever had a move called the pill driver? That's what it said. CM Punk versus Garcia. Leg subhold on. I got a P. He gets like <laughs> this was ten eight twenty one clothesline. Pil Pillman punches back and forth. How'd Pillman get in this match? I don't know. How What's happening? So the story is: the Sandman has commandeered the ambulance, and he's trying to get back to the building, but he's lost. <laughs> Or drunk. You know, kids, there was once a day where there was no Uber and there was no Google Maps. You had to go to the, the fucking gas station and get a paper map. And, like, you had to open this paper map and the fucking map's, like, this big, so you gotta, like, get out of the car to look at it. But it doesn't tell you where you're at. It's just a map. So then you gotta figure out, well, where the fuck am I? There's no you then are you here gotta on the figure, map. Yeah, then you gotta figure out where wherever you wanna go is. Then you got to look at street signs. It's like I'm supposed to be on 49th Avenue. Where the fuck is that? Oh, these maps. It was a disaster. It was a complete disaster, Brian. No one ever got where they were going ever because of maps. Well, you know, they did, but I mean, it, it took a while. Joe Gacy. Fuck this guy. I'm sure he's a nice guy. This gimmick is the most go-away heat I've ever, ever seen. I would rather watch, watch 100 Raquel Gonzalez promos or 100 BFAB matches, then one more second of Joe Gacy talking. And then there's Arland. If you're asking Vinny, 
Who the hell is Arland? The answer is, I got no idea. Arland? What did it say his name was? I think it's it's like Garland. Harland. Harland. None of these are good names. If you're bored by this match, check out Twitter where Drew Gulak is tweeting right now. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Wait a second. They're telling you to stop watching this show yeah. for a Drew Gulak tweet? They don't actually say stop watching the show. They did, say, they did say Drew Gulak is tweeting right now. You know what Drew Gulak should do? They should change his name to Who Gulak. <laughs> no one knows who he is right now. Yeah. yeah, who was it, Vinny? The producer. Yeah. Did you know that or did you have to wait for Vic to tell you? Well, he was talking about the producer before. I know that. I, I did know the that. math in my head. Okay, so you knew that. Yes. Okay, thank you. That's okay. my fucking point. All right. I thought everyone with a fucking brain could have put two and two together, and they didn't need to go back to the announcers, and Vic has to go, was that the producer in the oh, trunk? Brian, they're preaching to NXT fans. These people have no brains. Ugh. Everybody that they've, they've, they've tried so far, there's been one problem or another. Sin Cara. Problems. Nutty. Yeah. Alberto Del Rio. Also problems. Criminal. Yeah. Uh, Andrade can't speak English. Well, here you go. You've got Hispanic, English speaker, Spanish speaker, good worker, good looking. What in the fuck is he doing stuck down here? I don't know. There's a lot of guys in Ring of Honor who will have a perfectly fine, cromulent, pure wrestling match, and then I'll forget about it in t- 10 seconds. Did you say cromulent? I did. What the fuck does that word mean? Uh, I'll have to look it up. I've heard it before. <laughs> You said a word, you don't even know what it means? I think it means fine. You're an idiot. <laughs> I can't be sometimes. I'll look it up. A humorous, intentionally, morphologically opaque what? neologism coined by American television writer David X. Cohen. It's a bullshit word. Oh, there you go then. Oh, it's originated as a joke in The Simpsons. There you go. Yeah, look at you. 